Good morning. This is Rob Hamilton from Soul Canyon Training and Development with another Excel tip. I uh, teach about 150 Excel classes every single year, and I'm out and about all over this country. And uh, every once in a while, it comes up pretty frequently. People will come up to me at a break in the class, and they'll say, "Hey, I've got this problem. I calculate prices and discounts and things like that, and every once in a while." the information that I can see on the screen when I add it all up it's like a penny's missing and I can't quite get it you know I added up my little calculator and I compare to what's on the screen that Excel's calculated and I'm off by a penny well let me tell you what's going on here uh, and it's a super easy fix let's just say we have uh, these three products product one product two and product three each of which has a suggested retail price of ten dollars each we are selling these to our wholesalers at uh, two-thirds off, what would round to a 67% discount. And this is where we um, start to run into a little problem because technically it's actually a 66.66667% discount. So we would actually calculate the wholesale price as we would take the original price and we would multiply that times 1 minus the discount rate that would give our wholesalers their price. So far, so good. Now, if I just apply that to the other two products, I see that it's $3.33 uh, for each of the products. But now I look down here to a total, assuming maybe they just buy one of them, and it totals up to $10, not $9.99. Well, let me show you what's going on. Because the way the discount is calculated, if I just expand the decimals, on these a little bit, you can start to see that it's not really $3.33, it's 3.3333333. So when you just hold the individual price to do decimal points, it's $3.33. But that 0.3333, or rather that 0 0.003333, adds up over time to another one that, of course, uh, Excel adds to that additional penny down there on that bottom line. So here's how you get rid of it. When you do the price calculation, just wrap the round function around it. What the round function will do is take any number and truncate the remaining digits, actually round it to the nearest digits that you want. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take the calculation of the price times 1 minus the discount percentage. That will be the actual calculation or the number and then we'll go ahead and round that to the nearest two digits. Now I end the parentheses on that and put that in. Looks like three dollars and thirty three cents, right? But when I multiply or copy that down using the autofill handle, that indeed adds up to nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Now if we expand this out, just like we did with the other one, we'll see what the rounding function did for us is actually got rid of those extra .00333s so that we now have a nice clean number to add up here. No missing penny, everything's beautiful, no confusion, no need to explain, just use the round function. A super easy function, one of Excel's 350 functions that you can use to help you out in these types of situations. Just wrap that around your calculations and all will be well. That's another Excel tip from Rob Hamilton at Soul Canyon Training and Development. You have a wonderful Thanksgiving week.